with so many breast pumps out on the market, how do you know which one to choose? Well, I'm here to review the Amita Finesse breast pump. So make sure to stick around as I review three pros and one huge con I experienced while using this pump. Cassandra Sisson and I review parenting and baby products to make the challenges of parenthood just a little bit easier for you. I also share blogs and inspirational stories to keep you inspired as parents. So if that's your thing, make sure to subscribe. I want to start off by saying that you're an awesome mom. Whether you chose to only breastfeed or pump or you're doing both of them or you're bottle feeding or formula feeding, whatever path you chose no choice is better than the other and you should be very proud of yourself so while i was pregnant i went to a pregnant expo where i found out that my insurance can possibly cover a pump so i went ahead and i applied to a bunch and come to find out it did and they ended up sending me information on multiple pumps and after research i picked the amita finesse What's great is that my insurance not only covered the pump and the accessories, but it also covers refills. So the cords, the bottles, the suction cups, everything. Every few months it sends me a reminder, I place an order and out into my door they come. So what comes with the pump? Well, the first thing that's awesome is that it came with this awesome bag right here. It's pretty big and fits everything, not just the pump and all its accessories, but also some other must-haves that I'll share with you later that I use during my journey during breastfeeding and pumping um, that fits perfectly right into this bag. The second thing that came with it was a nice cooling bag. So here it is right here. And inside they came with three ice packs. It also came with the bottles here. It comes with, the, it comes with six. And then you can unscrew the cap and connect it right to your pump. Or you can put the caps on them and use it as storage if you already have the milk inside. Just put it in your cooler and keep it cool. They also give you samples of their milking bags. Um, they're not provided with your insurance, so you would have to purchase them separately. Um, but they give you two samples with that. I'm going to show you a bag that I use personally that was great. It wasn't Amita, but it was a great product for me and worked great with the pump. What doesn't come with this are the nursing pads, the storage bags, and any bombs if you're gonna use any. But stick around because I am gonna show you the ones I use that were great for me and got me through my journey. So what did I like about this? The first thing is that it gets the job done. The suction's good once you understand how to use them. Each pump's a little different and it's tricky at first, but once I got the swing of it, it worked well. I could change the speed and the suction pressure to mimic what my daughter was doing when she was latched on. So for example, to turn this one on, you would want to do the suction first because you definitely do not want to put a full throttle right at the beginning, especially once you have a newborn because that can hurt. But you would just put the suction, you'll hear it. And once that noise, what you're hearing is actually the little bags there. Come in. And then you pick the speed. And that just mimics the baby's movement when she's latched on. And then you just go and you're all set. The second thing I like is that it's super easy to travel with because I had the bag in the cooler. Once everything's all set, I have my milk stored up. I just throw it in the cooler, put it in the bag along with my pump and I'm good to go. The last thing I liked about it is that their customer service was actually really great. Because I didn't have anybody in my family that can kind of guide me through this journey, I called their customer service a few times just to make sure I was using this pump correctly and just for any advice they can give me because I was completely lost and completely scared and had no clue what I was doing. So it was nice I can reach out to them and they can guide me on the proper usage of the pump. The one thing that I completely, completely despised, hated, loathed, was actually nothing to do with the pump. It was the action itself. I'm gonna be honest, and I don't know if some moms are scared to say this, I hate, hate, hate pumping with a passion. <laughs> I didn't realize how time consuming and cumbersome it was until every two hours I had to find a little corner in the house, attach these suckers and sit there anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Doesn't seem too long, but if you think every two hours throughout the day, 
gosh, was that a pain. So what were my must haves during my pumping process? Everything I'm gonna mention, I'm gonna put the links below, so make sure to check them out to see if this be something that you would like for yourself. The first thing was a good bomb. I tried three different ones. Amita actually comes with their own. It didn't come with the package. I actually found this as samples when I went to their expo. I used the organic nipple balm and then I tried the, the boobies organic pumping lubricant for it. Um, from the three, this one was my favorite. The reason for it is because it had like a Vaseline consistency. So since it was thicker, it would hold on. And when it was suction, it would glide and can, can stay on for the duration of my pumping. These were a little bit more liquidy. They worked great, but they still kind of, the, the suction would get stuck sometimes. So they weren't the best for me, but I still think you should give them a try and take a look just because it didn't work for me. doesn't mean it won't work for you. So still check them out and see if you would like them. Other must haves for me was the milk storage bags. I used this one, which was the, the Lancinol one. The Amita does come with their own bag, but these worked a little bit better for me. And also when you get your own pump, don't get stuck on just their brand of products. Try other things out because they will fit. Other bottles will fit to, to the pump itself along with the bags. This one worked great and their price range was a little bit better for me. I also used their nursing pads for it. Um, they were more convenient when it came to the size of it, so I can fit more in my bag. Compared to other ones, they were open completely and just took up more space. So I ended up liking this one a little bit more. My last two favorite products are these two right here, and man, did they work wonders. The first one, this may look like an ordinary mug, but it comes with a cord because you're able to plug it into the car. You put water in there while it's hot, you plug it in and it's gonna keep it hot for you. So when it was time for me to feed the, um, the baby when I, when I transitioned to bottle, I would just open up, put the bottle in there, close it, give it a few minutes, and it was warm for her. So this was a great, great, great must have to have. The second one was a converter because sometimes we're going around, we're taking trips, we're just going grocery shopping. Who knows when you have to, to pump the time comes at all different times. When you do, this saved my life because I was, again, I was able to plug it into the car, plug in the pump, turn it on, and pumping I went throughout the car. So these two things got me everywhere and didn't get me stuck to only being at home and having to run and find a bathroom because not all bathrooms are breast pump friendly, which I found out and it's so frustrating. <laughs> So in those cases where I went into the bathroom and they didn't have anywhere where I could plug in my pump in, plug my pump in and pump, I can always just go to my car and I'll set. So I hope this review was good for you. If you know of any other products that help you throughout your pumping experience, please comment below because you never know what mommy might be helping out there. And also it might help me out as well. If ever I decide to have baby number two, I may want to take a different route. So let me know and I love to learn more about those products. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram at o.mother and on Facebook at ks.omother. See you next week and remember to tell yourself every morning you're an amazing parent and you're doing a great job.